The fascinating thing about Shanghai is the same thing that drove me to Shanghai at the time, is the energy of Shanghai and the fact that the city is still building up and you feel that you're part of that uh, building up somewhere. Ten years ago when I arrived, it was, if I look at my trade, not completely mature, developed uh, enormously in the right direction, which is very important. So it developed fast, but also steadily, if I look at restaurants specifically. We have two restaurants, with Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Ultraviolet. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ben entered in the 50 best restaurant. The other one entered in the 50 best restaurant and is still in the 50 best restaurant today. It means quite a lot. It means a lot for myself. It means a lot for the team because uh, it's an interesting thing as a recognition from a remote country as large as it is as China. Shanghai First is very international and if you want to give to the local an interesting representation of what is French food, then we need to be full power French. When we use vinegar, we use full power vinegar. When we use a salty dish, we use full power seasoning. So that's one of the traits of the French cooking, and that's the one I conduct in Mr. and Mrs. Bun. Convoterm stands for uh, the very best uh, when it comes to combi oven, and uh, if I translate what is the meaning in general of combi oven, then Convoterm inside of our kitchen, it's really the hurt of the work that we are doing in, in the kitchen. We will cook them overnight, 75 degrees or 80 degrees, depends on the quality of the ribs, okay? And we're gonna let them run when we are not there. No more space taken. You come during the day, the mise en place, it's clean. We take them, we put them in the convo shield, they are ready for service. You have here a restaurant which is averagely catering for 200 people. So it's not a small operation. And uh, we have for this the tools in the kitchen. Today, there is no more big stock spot, for instance, in Mr. and Mrs. Ben. All the stock are cooked in the oven. There's very few people that are doing this. And that's why we have so many ovens. The precision of those ovens is far more than enough, okay, to have an extremely precise, slow temperature cooking. And that's what we use them for. We have a lot of uh, potential of development, we have a lot of things to do, and you know, it's taking us a lot of uh, our energy and time, so there's no plan to leave from Shanghai at all.